today I am bringing you something to replace hoppers and it's a conveyor belt it may not look like it's a conveyor belt it may I mean it may may not exactly look like it's a conveyor belt but it's got the black and it moves items and it it's not pretty, but it works so much better than hoppers. It's a lot less expensive, first of all. So, anyways, guys, let's jump right into it. So, I am going to throw all of these, throw a little bit of each of these down. Hopefully, they snag onto it. There it goes. Now they're starting to catch onto it. So, as you can see, it's not the most beautiful conveyor belt, but it works. It works. And... Okay, now we can come down here, check this chest, and we've got all of our stuff in here. So, it's pretty simple to build. It's not too complicated, but it does... It, it's kind of complicated to uh, use the hopper because you can't place it where you want to place it because there's a block right here and it's it's constantly powered almost. Almost, like, almost constantly powered because there's also another thing here and it's just a, it's just a hassle. So... You have to move your hopper down here, and yeah, if you want to, you can also ride your conveyor belt too. So if you jump right here, as you can see, I am not using the uh, things. I'm just the joystick. I'm just using it uh, using the left, the right joystick, and I'll fall into the hopper. So that's pretty much it, guys. So I'll see you guys in the other in the other world, the void world, and I will teach you guys how to build it. So. See you guys there. Alrighty guys, so we are in our void world and we are gonna work on our conveyor belt slash kind of transporter type guy. So let's build up one block right there, grab a regular piston and put it right there. So next you just wanna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right there. Come right here, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then one right there. So now you want to put one here, here, and then I need to come out one more. Actually, we'll come out two more just to be safe. One right here. Actually, delete this one and put it right there. So, that's pretty much going to be the path of your conveyor belt. It has to come back. Now, you can make it come back uh, vertically, but it's just nicer to be able to send something back as well. So, on these blocks right here, we need to put pistons. This block right here. And this block here. And this block here. Just like that. So, now we are going to go... I'm going to... Uh, put these in in kind of a uh, every other block so you need to use cobblestone walls because uh, fences don't work anymore they're too thin I, I think that's what the problem is not quite sure but actually right here needs to be a solid block uh, so in all of these gaps I'm going to use uh, lime wool actually just so you can kind of see the difference a little bit better so just put it in all of these spots right here just like that. So now you kind of have your track for your conveyor belt that's going to come around like this and so on and so forth. <laughs> so now we just need to connect all the wiring. So take your redstone dust and come through like this. Put it right uh, all the way up to one before and put a redstone repeater. One tick delay. Redstone dust redstone repeater one tick delay and you're gonna continue that all the way around just like this and last one is just one two and just like this so now we're going to uh, put our uh, on mechanism on so this part is gonna be a little challenging in the void world because we need to dig down a little bit so down one down two and then up one up one there we go and there so we need a sticky piston this time all the other ones are regular pistons a block on top a redstone repeater and redstone dust right there 
uh, block on top of that. Block to the side of the of the dust. Repeater going into that. Uh, red a block in front of that. Redstone dust on top. A block on top of that. Actually, we'll use this again. We'll use this color, and we need a button right there. So that's going to be our on mechanism. So if we push this button, it'll turn on. But we don't want it on just yet because we're going to turn an off mechanism, or we're going to make an off mechanism right now. So just make it this one away. Make it uh, make have a sticky piston leading right into this block. Just uh, one block gap, and then. What I like to do is I like to uh, I like to just take the redstone dust and kind of lead it like this. But you can you can lead it to it however you want to. You can use a repeater or something like that. So now we need a lever. So let's just put our lever on right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to here we'll turn this on right now. And see now it's now it's running fully functional. And if we pull this out it stops it, because this block is not being powered anymore and it kind of cuts off the clock now to turn it back on we put uh, we push this back in and push the button again so now for decoration you can pretty much do you can pretty much do it however you want just leave in front of every piston leave a one block uh, spot I don't really like to put carpet over this one it's kind of pointless because I, I'm just gonna cover it up with a block later so I just put redstone carpet on, or not, why did I say redstone carpet? I meant black carpet over uh, just these two uh, rows, not in front of the piston and not in front of the piston on these because if they go, they will break <laughs> because it's a moving object and it, yeah, <laughs> you guys kind of understand what I'm saying. So now I'm just going to fill in this and let's take out that block. And I like to put glass in the middle. I like to put glass all the all the way around it actually just like this and now you can you can it's pretty much just design at this point you can design it however you want but this is the way I like to do it I like to do it like this and then around the edges just go like this on this side I leave a hole because on uh, so the items can be dropped down and we'll put a block right there just just so it doesn't escape and then, whoops, I don't want to do that. I want to come out one and then come in. So, and then we'll just do glass one more row, just like this. Now you can also leave a gap on this side as well. It'll do the exact, it can do the exact same thing as the other one. And you can have a return mechanism as well. So, let's, let's just do that, let's do that. So, let's bring this guy out one as well and just bring it like this, put a, piece of uh, block it right there so it blocks it and then uh, we need our hopper and our chest so let's grab our chest there we go all right so this block is powered so we need this this part's kind of, kind of complicated so we need to place our chest down I think it can go right here and then we can put our repeater down or our uh, hopper down as well but it has to be leading into the chest or else it won't work so just like that and I fell down <laughs> now what I also like to uh, to kind of hide the uh, the block moving I like to put a half slab over this block right here so just on the entrance ones, I like to put a half slab on uh, over it, so you can kind of like walk down and I don't know. It, it just it just feels a little bit more natural. But you can't do it on the other ones just because the that's where the items are falling. So that's pretty much it, guys. And we'll put another kind of return mechanism or a loading mechanism on here. So we need to go down one more and then put our chest. Not that one. Dang it. <laughs> All right. For time's sake, we will just replace it like this. Just like that. And then come over here and crouch. Put this right here. And it works perfectly. If it can move us, it can move anything else. So this needs to be turned on. We need to push this. And you can see it is moving. And I will be the demonstration just so it goes a little bit smoother. 
so you guys can kind of see what it's go what's going on. There it goes. There. Now we fall into the hopper. So that's pretty much it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to stay up to date with all of my series and videos and stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.